This DJ and TV show is sponsored by DJ Event Planner, Electra Voice, DJ Trivia and DJ Bingo, ProX Direct, NLFX Pro. Promo only. Odyssey cases. Perfect portals. JMOS lighting. Instant DJ requests. And our DJ and TV insiders. This is John Young from DJN TV. Thanks for watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hanging with Howie. And tonight we have a few uh, uh, extra guests on here who are faithful watchers and hangers out in the old, uh, uh, you know, Zoom room here. Sometimes till five or six in the morning. So, I want to welcome uh, Bill Marsh from Maryland here. We have Buddy, and I forget where you're from. Buddy, where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. And my longtime faithful friend and um, uh, traveling companion, Brian S. Red. Hola. And another traveling buddy that actually takes some long trips with me from Boston, John Colley. Welcome, John. Hi. And from Canada, we have Erin Mc, McPhail. Am I saying that right? You got her. Welcome, man. Welcome, guys. So tonight I thought, hey, everybody's been uh, recently doing road trips or, you know, gigging a lot, certainly. And we have this big convention coming up uh, called DJX. It used to be called uh, DJ Expo in Atlantic City. We'll be heading there in less than two weeks now. And I thought we would say, hey, what is the number one thing or one of the things that you forget to pack? And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> so, Bill, what do you forget? You know, I... I I have a hard time remembering important things like wallets mm -hmm. um, because I'll that put it somewhere else and then I'll look <laughs> to where it normally is and it's not there. And I go, Oh, well, it must be in my pocket. Not, Oh, it's in my, you know, duffel bag that I use or something like that. Um, I also have on numerous occasions forgotten my dress shoes. Uh, or a black belt when you know wearing a tux. So, yeah. All right, we'll have a few things right like that. We'll go right around the horn then, buddy. What what, what do you forget? Well, I, I could tell you a uh, perfect example. Just happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, we had a gig in downtown Chicago. Uh, we couldn't take our normal vehicle, which I have a Sprinter for the business. Mm -hmm. I had to take my wife's SUV. So, and my wife works with me for the business as well. That's why it's TV and production. My wife's Tracy. Um, so the thing is that we went downtown. We thought we packed everything right. And we got downtown. And the one thing we forgot is a power strip. Um, so the thing is that we had to uh, scramble a little bit. We had other things to connect to kind mm -hmm. of make a quasi power strip. But that was mm -hmm. the one thing we forgot was the power strip for the, uh, for the, uh, the party. So it's like... Yeah, uh, you try to pack well, but uh, there's always one thing you're like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I got this, I got that, I got I got extra cables, I got extension cords, I got one thing. Yeah, Brian, how about you? Well, for we're talking travel, right? Yeah, any yeah, even, even well, even a gig, I don't care. Hmm. Well, with anything, it doesn't matter what, if you're traveling somewhere or if you are going to a gig or whatever, it has been my experience that Murphy's Law always follows. <laughs> there's there's this thing where, you know, if you bring it, you're not going to need it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't bring it, you will need it. Yes. So, I mean, just 
for an example, I in Detroit this weekend, I had to do this tech job where all I was supposed to do is tech. Just take the system that was there. Didn't have to bring anything. Take the system that was there and make sure it worked and do some training on it. Show other people how to use it. Well, I brought my gig computer and I brought cabling and I brought flash drives and mm -hmm. I brought hubs and I brought all these things because if I didn't bring them, I definitely need them. Yeah. If I'd have left those things at home and said, now I'll travel light, then that would have been the thing that I really needed. And it would have been really bad because I didn't have it. And is that because the company that you work for is supposed to supply all that and you thought maybe I'll leave mine home? Well, they do supply all that. And, you know, but you need backup, you know, and the, yeah, it's just the, situ the, the situation with, with music files, with VDJ, with the offline catch they were using for the files that they had for their subscription service, all of those things, 100% were on my gigging computer, no problem. So if there was a problem with their computer, and mine was the backup. There was no problem with their computer. There were no problems with anything that they had. There were no problems with HDMI cables, microphone cables, anything. But I had all of those things with me. And if I hadn't had them with me, there would have been a problem. Now, I could have left them in the hotel, but I didn't do that because the hotel was 25 minutes away by Uber. <laughs> so I brought them with me every day because if I'd have left them in there, definitely would have needed them. So that's how I try to think whenever I go anywhere. You know, mm -hmm. oh, I'm not going to bother bringing sinus pills. I'm going to get a sinus headache. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to bother bringing anti diarrheal. I'm going to crap my pants. It's just how it goes. Right. <laughs> if you bring these things, you won't need yeah. them. In, instead of the Boy Scouts, I grew up on a farm. And my dad's phrase was, it's better to have it, not need it, than yep. need it and not have it. Right. So yep. nothing got thrown out. <laughs> yeah, that was my dad too. He was a hoarder. But no, this is different. This is just a consolidated version of your life. And that, that goes for anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're either gigging or traveling or whatever, if if there's a chance you could use it, you should bring it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it to chance because the first time you leave it to chance, you're gonna need it. Mm. That's what it is. How about you, John? <laughs> So just, just clean out the medicine cabinet and take everything with you. Throw it in a big duffel bag and you'll be healthy. Bring a couple stuff. of everything. You don't bring everything. You bring you bring a, a couple pills and a yeah. couple of this, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. I, I'm, I'm an extensive list maker because I don't like forgetting mm -hmm. things and leaving stuff behind. <clears throat> I find it's it's the day of stuff. Like when it's crunch time, it's time to go and you grab that. Now it's deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, the stuff that's that goes to the very end. Um uh, I, I've started carrying a, a little Bic razor in my travel bag because I've left my shaver at home a ton of times. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you go in some place for a day, it's not a big deal. Like, but this uh, Atlantic City trip, it's it's almost a week. We're going to be down there. I'm like, I don't want to be fuzzy by the end of the thing. So if uh, you, make, you make the lists and if, you know I'm bringing gear and things like that, uh, none of that's going to get left behind. But it's just you're running out the door. You know, check the fridge. If you made sandwiches, bring those. Bring the ice pack. Don't forget your cooler. Shut the lights off. <laughs> Make sure the oven's turned off. <laughs> All that good stuff. <laughs> hey, okay, Aaron, what, what's yours? I'm, I'm actually, I just grabbed my phone and I'm making notes while you guys are talking about stuff. <laughs> I'm writing it down. I haven't been on a, we haven't, haven't been on a other. big trip. <laughs> we got to. We got to watch each other's backs. That's for sure. I haven't yeah. been on a big trip in a while just because of the dark ages that we all just went through. Right. Um, as you know, Canadians were, were really locked down uh, for a long yeah. time. We weren't able to cross borders quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I'm making notes just because it's been a while since I've traveled extensively. So uh, last couple of gigs, um, I had two things that I've, that I left behind. And one is the notes and directions I take to each event. I write it down in case my phone dies. Ooh. I do have it on my phone, yeah. but yeah, I always, I always write it down just in case something happens to my phone, say a cell tower goes down because of a storm or whatever happens, you've got it written down and you know exactly how to get to and from. And then that way you kind of cover yourself there as you have written notes. The last two events I've done, I left my notes at home and I'm like, 
oh man, I know it's in my phone somewhere, but I take so many photos of gigs and stuff that it gets buried. So some that's that wasn't good. And then uh, that one USB cable, that 3.0 cable that goes to my hard drive, I left it at home twice. Um, and it kind of circles back to a topic we went through before in using streaming services uh, where, you know, say your hard drive fails on you. My last okay. couple of events, I've needed I've needed to use Tidal, and uh, it worked out good. Worked out flawlessly. I didn't have any glips or glitches or any issues at all. Tidal worked really well. So I mean, it's not like I didn't. I had a backup jump drive that was in my bag, so my jump drive was in, but it doesn't have everything on it. Just like the essentials, right? You know, your 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 bangers and your top list and the first dance. I always keep a couple copies of those, and like all the essential stuff was there. But it's like end of the night. Hey, do you happen to have that song? I would have had on my hard drive, but not on my jump drive. You know what I mean? It was that situation. I go to pull it out. I'm like, where's the cable? No cable. Right. So my last two was my notes that I take and I write down. So I got directions on how to get to where I'm getting to. I've left that at home a few times. Um, trying to think like big travel trips, what I've left behind. Um, I almost walked out of the door on my way to Texas one year without my passport. It was sitting at home beside the front door. Wow. And yeah, I was like, get in the car, I'm leaving. And, and she's like, Do you grab your passport? Like, my wife. But yeah, it was close. One one habit I have stopped doing because it just seemed too logical for me is when I put things right by the kitchen table before I go out the door and i leave it on the kitchen table yeah you know, um you got to throw your keys in there there has to be your it has to have your keys with it otherwise you don't grab it it's like it'll right. just, yeah i have to put my keys with it and uh, my wallet so if i put my keys in my wallet with the must take items then it's all together i'm like oh yeah my passport my notes and my jump drive cable oh i got them all with my keys Mm -hmm. And then that's my, that's, I've had to do this. It's just because I always forget that one thing, like what Brian said, you know, that one thing that well, you didn't I, bring is the one thing you need. Right. I like Brian's idea because I have done that. I've, I've consolidated it down. You know, we finally refer to it as our, Oh crap bag type of thing. And, um, you know, like I'll take, you know, an old medicine thing or something like that, and just put a few pills or whatever that you're going to need or, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, that is in my uh, shaving kit. And I, I can distinctly remember setting that. And I don't know why I just didn't put it in my backpack right away. And now I have a checklist and um, that I go through and I left that behind. And I get to, it was actually, it was South Point in Vegas. And I was like, hey, I, you know, I forgot my razor. And they said, I said, is, uh, you guys have a store here I can buy? They went, no, no problem. We'll, we'll send somebody up with it. Right. So five minutes later, a guy comes with a little tiny can of shaving cream and, and one razor. And, it was, I guess, the same place you buy them for the prisons or something. It only had one blade, and I tried <laughs> shaving with it, and it was literally ripping my skin off. <laughs> it's like, so if anybody that's been to South Point, which you're going to be going to, Aaron, uh, if you get yeah. that, gig, is yeah, it's still in the when you still. when you come down from the upstairs, the either the stairs or the elevator, and they have that combination, you know like little store and liquor store type thing. I went in there and I bought a brand name razor blade. So <laughs> I, I could get to know I couldn't cut myself. But, and that was cheaper than tipping the guy five bucks for running up to my room with, with, oh, with the razor and the, and the shaving cream. But um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I have the checklist is on my visor of, of my truck. And Perfect. So I will flip that up. And this is an old one because I made, I've actually made a list of things I've forgotten. 
and that's on the visor. So I look at the visor and go, things I've traditionally forgotten. Do I have this? Yep, 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 yep. Mm, yes, I do. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Back in the house with you know trucks running, get it. And, you know, but uh, these things will happen. So, well, we've got some time here. Um, uh, how about the folks going to uh, Atlantic City? Um, anything uh, you want to say on that? Um, any? I have something I want to say on that. Sure. Aaron was talking about renting a car. You do not have oh, to. Do yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. good point. The way that. I've done it many times and I've even done it after my stroke this way is that yeah, there are trains you can take from the Philadelphia airport. They'll take you right into Atlantic city, which is probably, I don't know, a little over an hour away. I think like the that, doing that would be absolutely hour, awesome. The, like, only, the only other reason was, was try to like go see a couple of the sites in Philly before heading in there. But, uh, well, you could absolutely do that, or or you could yeah. do it on the way back, or however you want to do it. But you, you wouldn't necessarily have to if you didn't want to. You wouldn't have to rent a car. And and I will say that mm -hmm. the Thirtieth Street Station in Philadelphia is kind of cool. I mean, if you want to see something, that's probably the coolest thing I've seen in Philly. I so, do want to see it. I do want to see it. Like I've been looking at photos of of Philadelphia, and I'm like, it, it's in a rotten neighborhood. But if you're in the train station, you're fine. Just don't go roaming around outside of it too much. All right. But you take, it's not a subway, but it's a train, like a local train mm -hmm. from the airport to the 30th street station. And there'll be a lot of people doing this. So this won't be confusing for you. You just find the train platform and you go there. Once you get there, I believe it's an a vending machine. You buy an Amtrak ticket from Philadelphia to Atlantic city. And oh, man. You, you wait for the next train and it could be an hour away or whatever. And that's a great time to explore the station a little bit. There's some good food options there. Mm -hmm. There's a really good Cajun place there. I used to really enjoy eating at with that, like gator gumbo and stuff. Really? There's all kinds of, yeah. There's all kinds of weird food and stuff there. That's cool. Then you hop on the Amtrak and you go and there's plenty of stuff you can see from the train. Uh, or not, I, I shouldn't say plenty of stuff. There's there's stuff you can see from the train that you're not going to see anywhere else. Parts of Philly and things that you may not see otherwise. And uh, takes you right to Atlantic City. When once you get there, it's a small uh, terminal. You you come in and then you can take an Uber or a cab or whatever to the Hard Rock if that's where you're staying. Yeah, yeah. yeah just one word of warning. We had um, a fella come down. Um, had never. He came up from Florida, I believe. Um, he had never done this before. So he followed Brian's directions, but he he hadn't eaten. So he got himself a bowl of soup to eat on the train. That's not a good idea. Unless you have a <laughs> spare shirt with you. <laughs> Understand. The one and thing I will not say, usually my go-to, but thank you. For that. The, 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 one, the one thing I will say is that if, let's say that you're leaving on Thursday, and let's say that you have a flight at noon, you're going to have to get to that train station incredibly early in the morning because trains aren't constantly running. Right. So, you know, pay attention to the train schedule. That okay. happened to me one time. I was flying out at one o'clock and the train wasn't coming until one o'clock and I was screwed. Ooh. I was sitting there, you know, I was, I was in there at 10 in the morning, but it still wasn't early enough. Yeah, my flight you know, out, I think my flight out is on the Friday at, um, I think it's like four or five in the afternoon. Okay, but just be mindful of the train schedule. You might want to check that out on the yep. way back. And the way in, it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, as long as you know. No, I'm in the morning. Tonight. Yeah, I fly in. I leave here at midnight, and I get to Philly at about uh, 8.30 in the morning. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, just get on the train, go to the 30th Street Station, and then take, and then from there in the vending machine, buy an Amtrak ticket to Atlantic City. I've always wanted to go on an Amtrak. You guys have no idea how excited I am to get on this trip because there's so many things I want to do. I've never been to the Northeast, right? I've never been. Uh, well, well, I've been to the Atlantic Ocean before in Canada, so I've been directly north of where I'm going. But like not ice, isn't inside. it? <laughs> yeah, it's solid ice. You can't. You have to skate everywhere. Bunch of narwhals crawling around. <laughs> Penguins will body check you, and it's just horrible. No, Atlantic Atlantic deck beautiful. chairs floating around. Yeah, yeah. New Brunswick's beautiful. PEI is beautiful. Just saying, but 
yeah, it's uh, this is exciting for me to be on the U.S. side and Atlantic City. I mean, I watch Boardwalk Empire. I've watched. <laughs> I've seen it all, and I watched all that. I'm like, that that city looks so cool, and I'm like, I get to go check it out. Well, the one tip I have for anyone going to Atlantic City that I will throw out there, and it's a safety tip: you're cool on the boardwalk. Everything around the boardwalk is fine, but if you get off the boardwalk, uh, you do it at your own risk. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. Two, two or three blocks away. away. Yeah, yeah. You're there's you're on your own. There's there's a shopping district that is safe. Other than that, yeah, everything Brian just said. Um, if you're, you know, if you're walking up and down the street, it's it's not the prettiest area in the world to be, um, and you will have people asking you if you want things or if they could take things from you. Um, they may not even ask. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't lend anybody your phone. <laughs> but but the boardwalk people tend to. You know, the locals tend to kind of understand you can't really harass people too much on the boardwalk because it happens. Yeah, it, it happens. But it happened to me uh, last year. It did. I mm-hmm. tried to take my phone. Yep. Well, yeah. just, you know, I, I would just advise, you know, to, to you know, enjoy your stay. Explore the boardwalk. Yeah. And if there's somewhere you want to go off of the boardwalk, I, I would say take an Uber to it. Yeah. 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 I heard there was like Maybe an outlet see. shopping place like Bill was talking about. There's a. There's some shopping nearby. Yeah, I, yeah, it's I, it's I new. Yeah, but I would even take an Uber there. to that. I would Uber to that place and then Uber yeah, back okay. from it. Okay. Yeah. Or Personally, the I I I'm just saying the the yeah. jitneys will get you there too. But you you're better off getting picked up right there in front of the hotel and yeah, Uber or cab. Believe it or not, the cabs there are not bad. Um, like I actually have had more enjoyable experiences taking a cab than I have an Uber up there. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So personally, I've mostly but, taken cabs there too. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I will be there for the seminar as well. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a few things I do. I do intend on taking in um, at the expo and uh, I am looking forward to it. Definitely. I mean, Excellent. there's a few people in there in our group that I, that are not making it that I, I wish were going to be there. Um, the other part of it is I heard about um buddy dude, I'm gonna miss you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm the only one in the group here is not going, unfortunately. Robin Robin's not either. Robin's not going as well. Yeah, She's not gonna be right. able to make it. I I, but I have five gigs and stuff like that. And I know mine just worked out. I, mean, I got I had a gig postponed and it moved it right into the spot I needed it to move to. And uh the the gig I'm doing on Saturday, I fly out Sunday. So when I'm done my event on Saturday night, I go home, drop my bags, sleep, grab my other bags, I'm out the door, and it's really close to where I am. So it's it's thankfully one of the events that isn't six hours from my home. You know, I I typically travel quite a bit with my events, but this one is close to home. It'll be I'll have a full sleep, no problem. I got a ton of time to get to the airport. Um, you know, I get on the plane at midnight. So yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Red eye. Everything worked yeah. out perfect for me. It just worked out. I'm just, Great. I'm excited. I can't wait to go. Yeah. Um, John said he'd make it up for Buddy not being there with a cooler full of uh, jello shots. Yeah. So, that's some fun. I'll, I'll make you feel <laughs> I better. I thought it was eight and a half ounce cans of beer. <laughs> yeah. We got to get those North Carolina eight ounces. Yeah. Yeah. I told yeah. you guys come here to Chicago. We have them here. I found them and I'm more glad by Howie and you, John, and everyone else coming. Eight and a half ounce cans of beer. I'll oh, be good time. Good time. I promise. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. yeah. Right. And don't lock your travel suitcases until you make sure you know the three digit combination because otherwise <laughs> you're going to be cutting your suitcase open when you arrive. Don't don't, oh, don't click that lock hard. until you know you got the little keys inside the you know you yeah it somewhere. Little well, that's things. a really little awesome things. tip, you guys. I appreciate that because I mean, seeing places by train, you know, that's one of the lost things. Like, there's less and less. There's no buses anymore here. And the trains are minimalizing by the day. They're dropping dates, they're dropping destinations, and they're shortening the track. So, I mean, the ability to take an Amtrak, it absolutely enthuses me. I cannot wait to try this. I am, yeah. I'm going to have you on speakerphone the whole time. And where, <laughs> it, where it drops you off um, yeah. in Atlantic City is the Atlantic City Convention Center. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's always... But the jitney buses and shuttles and cabs there. Um, well, right. Um, 
Yeah, he, if he there'd be tons of jitneys, and the jitneys are only two bucks. So yeah. Oh. And then and you got to pay cash. Is that a cash thing? So bring bring a little uh, bit of uh, travel as walking money. Yeah. Yeah, I would bring some walking money. Yeah. Remember, bring U.S. dollars, not Canadian dollars. Uh, yeah, oh, exchange. None of that monopoly money crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no loonies. <laughs> we don't have kings bills. and queens on our bills. <laughs> yeah. Chuck and Toonies at the, at, the, at the residence yeah. sitting on the street. But that's also, <laughs> so right across from the convention center is the Sheraton Hotel. And directly behind that is that outlet area. Oh, that we okay. were talking about. So yeah. you're already kind of, you'll get a chance as you're kind of riding through there to see yeah. some of what's there. I mean, there's a Bass Pro Shops, there's a Nike outlet, there's um, a Crocs outlet. There's, hey. you know, there's yeah, <laughs> all kinds of. Even you know, for me, but okay. But the yeah. Nike one, I, yeah, definitely check that out. Um, and, and well, I think like there's three or four shoe brands there, um, you know, dress and plus there's also just general like discount shoe outlet stores as well um, that are in that same spot. There's a Starbucks there. There's a good cafe kind of across from the Starbucks. So what I'm, my point is, if you found yourself kind of waiting, you could wander down that way and, and still find a cab or the Jitney. Okay. Um, All right. Sounds like you've been there a few times yourself. Hey, Bill. Yeah. 26th year. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. 26. Bill's only 25 years old. Yeah. I my first my first DJ Expo was 1996. Holy smokes. Well, speaking of Expo, we can wind up with that. Um, We are going to, as a collective here, we are having a chill event. It's kind of, you know, underground, not officially sanctioned, but um, we do get a crowd and we are going to be at a place called Beret on New York Avenue, five minute walk from uh, the Hard Rock Cafe. And or you can drive or Uber if you drive. There is a parking lot for uh, anybody seeing this. Uh, I'll I'll ask John if he'll put this up. Um right away instead of waiting um till we're all home <laughs> till we're all back <laughs> we're all back but it's gonna start at um it's gonna start probably a little before eight but we're we're gonna be doing it from eight until um noon and we'll have midnight? all of the usual noon? gang from uh the midnight? Yeah. midnight i think midnight, you know. midnight probably yes midnight, midnight. I'm We're not sorry. going all night till the. That's a long party. Yeah, that's no, that's not. Yeah, that's not one of Jay's things where it goes 24 hours, right? Like Canadian. Well, I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Atlantic City time, midnight now, is noon. Yeah. Now, <laughs> also another special treat. Um, John um, would like Brian to do his usual Tuesday music show live from Beret. Just 10 Ooh. minutes, he, he might walk around and say, hey, how you doing? You know, whatever, on his cell phone. And John will be at home base, you know, doing the thing. But just a you know, quick 10-minute thing. So make sure you brush your teeth and you comb your hair for that because you never know with Brian. So, so thank you all for being here. And anybody that does see this before they go, we hope to see you there. Thank you. And... Good night.